Welcome everyone to Slav Game Week. My name is Boris, and for the whole following week I will be only playing Slavic games. So grab your shashlik and vodka, put on your summer ushanka, and enjoy. Yes, Boris! We start off this time with Polish game Wilczyzanisz, which means Wolf's Lair. And for the crazy guys, I mean, sorry, dedicated fans who want to look up this game, it is also called Wolf Shanze 1944, the final attempt. Now my Polish skills are... Well, they are shit. But this will not hold me back from playing this Polish game, kurva match. Oi, pizdiec! This guy has serious neck problems. Why is it that every old game that I play is very sensitive mouse? There is mush something, this must be correct. And nothing has changed, perfect! So in this game you play as World War II warrior Zik, hi! Yeah, sure, sure. You play a soldier in World War II, doing things, shooting guns. Ah, to tylko pan pułkowniku. Oh yes, this game is not in English. Okay, let's see here. You play as radio delivery expert. Or maybe not. Okay, I do not understand a thing he is saying, but it does not matter. For as long as there is door I can go through, I am happy. Oh, looks like I have been entrusted with someone's dirty laundry. Do not worry, comrade Kurva, I will take it there. Wherever there is. Hey, you in charge of dry cleaning here? Or maybe not. Блин, I should not have ended my Polish lessons. If nothing else, I would have at least known where to take dirty laundry. Zik, hi. No, thank you. So as much as I have heard of this game, or read about it, or seen any gameplay videos, it is not in English. It is in Polish, German, I've seen even the Russian version. But if you have Polish-only version like me, and you do not speak Polish, pana na sztabu. then all you will understand from that line is banana. Who the fuck are you keeping, Danny? Zik, hi. Fuck off! Endless tunnels, blin. What the kurva match. Blin, I didn't know Hitler speak perfect Polish. Okay, comrade, new order of business. We go in box mode. <clears throat> Maybe not. You see, this is where they fucked up with the planning. They forgot to have fun. It was all battle this war that. You need more cheeky bricky and chill in your life, blin. And this guy just needs some chill. Metal, please calm down your memories. Nie, nie. Opa! Who ordered the lamp dancer Boris? Yes, I kurva blin. You know what? I'm pretty sure this conversation is looping. Okay, guys, I'm leaving. Send me some postmarks when you're there. You want to know best part about this game is that I do not understand anything. You know those games where there is no dialogue whatsoever? You just let the environment tell the story? This is pretty much like that. Although for right now it is very hard to find how is this a Slavic game. No kurvas, no chick brick. Oh, oi blin. Trzymaliśmy rozkaz aresztowania pułkownika. Oh no, he's arrested. Oi blin, oi bob, oi blin, fuck this shit. I think the game forgot to give me gun. Kurva match. Ah, not from all over again. Ah, you pierdole. Shit, exiting the game crashes the game. Cannot argue with that logic. Okay, so I have been playing this game for almost one hour now, and this is what I have learned. The enemies, they will appear right behind you, for no fucking reason. The mouse speed is way too high for any resolution, and this makes aiming very fucking hard. And there are so many enemies, and they are all 5 kilometers away, or right behind you. The explosive barrels that are deceptively green and not red, they do not damage your enemy, but they will kill you. But you know what? All of that is forgiven. Because in Will Chizanich, you can use sauce. It's just weapon. It's not very effective. More things you should know about this game. The birds are friendly. You can take down tanks with bullets. And maybe even with sausage, I did not try. Leathers, they only work one way. And the AI is about as smart as a college educated shoe. Some of the enemies have flamethrowers, that is nice. And one last thing, doors with handles can be opened. Others not. So if you happen to find yourself playing this game for whatever sadistic reason, or you just time travel back to 2006, remember my words of wisdom. Well, thank you, my friends, for watching this Polish Sausage Throwing Simulator 2016 Game of the Year edition. I will see you in next video, where we continue with Slav Game Week. Stay cheeky-bricky, my friends.